What is up guys, it is Retro Velocity here and today I'm going to be playing with the X Eon or the Xeon, I don't know what it's called, um, I just call it the X or yeah Xeon, um, but yeah last game I went 32 and 10 so let's see if we can maybe make that happen, um, I'd be pretty hyped, yeah. and yeah I got that new announcer pack, it's called the U UK announcer pack and it's, it's totally free, just go to uh, customize, in the barracks and you, you just download it it's not it's 1.1 megabytes not gigabytes but megabytes and so it is very very easy to just download it takes like one second and yeah you got yourself the og announcer come on all right thank you guy all right let's see if we can do some work um i really really like this site because it shows like anyone Whoa, that guy was way too close to me. Um, it shows like anyone inside or around it, which is really, really cool. Because by what I mean around, it'll show kind of like the, uh, what's it called? Um, pulsar wood, but only around the optic, which is still really, really cool. And it like shows people in your peripheral vision. And that is very, very helpful in some situations. It does have some kick to it, as you guys can probably tell. Um, but it is still a very, very solid gun. I don't know what that guy was doing, but hey. Wow, that was a big kick. Um, it kind of is a little bit unpredictable to control the recoil. Um, but it does have this kind of low. I would keep your gun fights to sort of close to medium range. I would definitely, definitely not challenge a sniper with this. Um, because nine times out of ten, you're going to lose. Just like that. <laughs> um... And the hip spread it turns into like a circle, as you guys could probably tell. And oh well, well I'll show you guys. So, um, it the hip spread is kind of like that Erat Cyclopene, where it kind of just like goes only in that little circle, but it doesn't arc like the Erat. Um, and yeah, it's overall it's a very, very, very solid DLC weapon. Uh, the way you have to get it is get 15 kills, no, 15, play 15 games while, um, getting six or more kills with different weapons. So, I mean, what I did, the easiest way, was play, um, gun game. Gun game was very, very good, because it is a pretty decent, quick game. Um, that way you can get this gun as fast as you want. Which is really cool, so you guys can go out there and grind. Um, I do have to grind for the, uh, what's it called? Um, VPR. I call it the Viper. Um, you do have to grind for that. You have to get 50, you have to get 12 kills, at least one of them having to be the X Eon. Um, and you have to do that 12 times, but you but you have to win that match. You have to win the match. And I think by that, you have to get in first place. Because I was playing free for all, and I got second place. And it did not count towards my progress to, um, going for the Viper. Which I thought was extremely weird. Um, I don't know if it's bugged or anything. So I kind of hope I get it out of a supply drop. Because if I do, today, I will upload it as soon as possible because, you know, that's, it's a new gun and, hey, gotta, gotta play with those, those new DLC guns, right? Just get out of the corner. Alright. Alright, bro, if I lost that gunfight, though. Where are these guys? This is kind of sketchy. 
Dang it, I really, dang it, I was one kill off the UAV. <sighs> oh. Wait. You gonna get me, sir? Because I got good teammates, right? Okay, so we're gonna be spawning over here as predicted. Ooh. Ooh. Easy triple! What is this? I didn't have, I, if I were to have one more bullet, if I were to have one more bullet, I would have gotten the easiest triple of my life, bro. It's such an easy triple. If I, dude, if only this gun came with like a little extended mags, I would be using that thing like crazy. Can I, can I get over here, please? Thank you. Dude, why why do I keep on getting like pushed? Dang it. Two people were shooting at me. Alright. This is a pretty solid game. I love the challenge. Oh <gasps> no. Okay, everyone's gonna be coming in through there. I think it's a four or five shot, kind of like the type two. Oh, dang it. Um, which is really, really good, for, especially for an assault rifle. That is really, really good. I really like this gun a lot because of how fast it fires. But when you hip spread, look. Compared to that, there's a big difference. And that is purposely for balancing reasons. Because you don't want to have the same exact fire rate for the hip spread. And then on top of that, the hip spread is minimized. Whew. Talk about overpowered. That would be the best gun in the game. No question about it. But, like, that, the hip spread is like a laser beam, though. It's, it's kind of like the Erad Cyclopene. Except, you know, it doesn't arc to your enemies, of course. Um, let's see. No, my teammates are gonna get last. Yep. Dang it. Alright, well, we did what we could. And yeah. 27 to 14. Not too bad, but hey, this gun is my favorite gun right now. In my opinion, it is better than the MV4. Like, that is how good it is. Um, I also just unlocked that calling card, the Bounce House. I was just, the game before, I was just playing and I ricocheted my bullets and I guess I got a double headshot or something. And yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. All right, well, let's back out and let's open a supply drop. Let's see what we get. Imagine if we get the Viper. No. Oh, I've been wanting that calling card for a while. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I like it better. Mm, do I like it better than the bounce house? Let's see what it looks like. Okay, magical AF boy. It's all right. I still prefer the bounce house. Um, so yeah, this was my OP class, as you guys can probably tell. Um, grip is definitely needed. Quick draw and suppressor. Um, stock would also be good. Um, it'd be, yeah. So, and I have these type of perks just to stay off the mini-map. I don't have any different, I don't have any, uh, variants for it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is my class, and it's a beast. Uh, it has pretty good damage. Fire rate is really, really good. Um, range is really, really good. And overall, it's a solid weapon. And yeah, I love it as a DLC weapon, and I can't wait to show you guys some more gameplay once I do get um, some more variants. And also, if you go to the Mark II, you can see um, different ones. The War Sight, it counters active camo, cold-blooded, and hardwired, so you can see anyone through anything, no matter what. And uh, stability, great with it, great, great, great. 
Um, and then the VPR Yokai. And this one, when you it has a built-in suppressor, and when you shoot someone, the skull where um, like the death where your teammate died, it will not show up. So you don't know where your teammates are dying. And so this is gonna be a really cool one. I would love to get it out of a supply drop. Um, you cannot craft any of these. You have to be lucky um, to either grind them out or get them out of supply drop. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button. Also subscribe for daily Call of Duty videos. And I'll try and grab another Viper. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.